Hello, and thank you for joining me. It's Alan Barry Labucan with the Rocks and Stocks News Show. Uh, one of my sponsors of the show's uh, uh, Goliath Resources had great news out today, uh, and I wanted to discuss that news. So I'll just do a share screen right now. Uh, as you can see, the headline is that Goliath drills 513 gram meter gold equivalent hole assaying 65 grams per ton gold equivalent over 7.9 meters at Sherbet in the newly discovered high grade gold bonanza shear within the Golden Gate feeder zone at, in Golden Triangle, British Columbia. Uh, here's the highlight of the uh, drilling, uh, 65 grams per ton gold equivalent over 7.9 meters, including 86.99 grams per ton of gold over five, that's gold equivalent over 5.9 meters, and 186.31 grams per ton of gold equivalent over 2.75 meters. This makes up the best hole that they've hit to date. Uh, they note that the uh, it intercepted intercepted numerous occurrences of visible gold, as well as strong sulfides mineralization in quartz stock work and veins corresponding with the bonanza shear that opens up, which is hosted between the Hazelton sediments above and the volcanics below. This is some very important information uh, that I'll get into in, uh, during this uh, presentation. Highest, it's the highest grade interval intersected so far on the property with a 513 gram meter gold equivalent. Uh, they had multiple elongated visible gold grains up to 11 millimeters in length identified. They still have assays pending on 110 holes drilled at Golden Gate or drilled at the Gold Digger property in 2023. Uh, they note here, you can see the uh, the visible gold in this image uh, and some sulfides in there as well. Uh, here's what really has me impressed about what they're finding so far. So here is the Sherbet uh, zone and here is the Bonanza Shear zone. This best hole that they've hit today, uh, it went through the Sherbet zone and then continued and hit the high grade gold at the contact between the sediments and the volcanics. So this is their second hole now into gold mineralization uh, um, associated with the volcanics. And the Sherbet zone and the Bonanza shear are, you know, easily looking at, and you'll see the statistics on it later, uh, in the news release are easily looking at something that uh, could reasonably be called a 5 million ounce plus target in the sediments. But now they look like they have the have tagged into the volcanics, which are the likely source of where all this mineralization is coming from. I find this interesting because this extends the Bonanza shear further uh, along the shear zone and underneath the sherbet zone and is in close proximity to where the sherbet and the um, and the bonanza shear uh, intersect. Uh, and so getting that right at the contact of the volcanics along with their hole four, which was a 313 gram meter gold equivalent hole, uh, they now look like a, it's it, the uh, the the volcanics is the source of where their uh, this sherbet and bonanza shear mineralization is coming from. It looks like the Golden Gate zone they're calling it, uh, which is in the volcanics, is uh, a likely the feeder of this mineralization. I, I it's interesting that it seems to be running parallel to the uh, sherbet zone open up dip and down dip. Uh, this is uh, it, it, on its own, that Golden Gate zone uh, looks like it could get quite large it, as well. But here then they talk about this yellow area 
as the Golden Gate feeder zone target. Uh, and, you know, stands to reason that this is what is pumping all the gold up into this system, which is a very exciting uh, situation. You know, uh, Sherbet Zone and the Bonanza Chiron, it's on their own, uh, look like they could be a world-class discovery. And now you start adding the uh, the the pump the feeder for that uh, that mineralization, which suggests that it's a, it's a very powerful system, and that it could be a, a very big system, uh, is quite exciting. And you, you, evidence that it's big is look at all the widespread gold mineralization. Here's a 550 meters. Uh, you're looking at 1.8 kilometers uh, area squared of numerous stacked high-grade mineralized zones over 600 meters apart laterally, and it remains wide open. So uh, they go on and tell you where that uh, was, uh, where it came from, the cliff pad uh, that had multiple occurrences of visible gold and significant quartz sulfide mineralization as massive to semi-massive and stockwork galena, sphalerite, and pyrotite. Uh, the min uh, mineralization interval consists of eight grams over four meters with 5.42 grams over six meters corresponding with the shear bed zone. Then they give you more details on some of the other holes that they, uh, that they hit uh, in this press release. Then they kind of summarize everything and based on the 2021 and 2022 drill assays and preliminary drilling results from 2023, the sure bed zone hosted in the Hazleton sediments now has <clears throat> 106 drill pierce points and modeled to be 5.5 million square cubic meters, averaging 6.88 meters at an 6.31 grams per ton of gold. Excellent uh, size to that. You put a 2.9 million out, or 2.9 specific gravity on that, and uh, clearly shows why this is, uh, you know, looking at a multi-million ounce gold deposit in the sediments with the volcanics immediately below, uh, wide open as the uh, feeder. Uh, the Bonanza shear hosted between the Hazleton sediment and volcanics now has 104 drill pierce points, and the model has been extended or expanded from 13 million cubic meters to over 25 million cubic meters. The newly discovered Golden Gate zone hosted within the Hazleton volcanics and 20 meters below the Bonanza shear has been modeled to greater than 1.1 million cubic meters. Uh, grade de definition is dependent on pending assays. So they only have a couple of holes into that Golden Gate zone so far and the volcanics, but so far great. The, two of their best holes to date, their best hole and one of their best holes uh, have come from these volcanics. Management believes the average widths and or grades of the system should increase once all assays are received, compiled, and interpreted from 2023 drilling program. All three zones remain open. See model below. So here again, you can see the actual model of the Sherbet zone, where it comes into contact with the uh, Bonanza shear, and then right immediately below, is where they have the Golden Gate zone. Uh, and uh, this hole came from over here somewhere uh, and uh, right at the contact of the volcanics and the, the sediments is where they got this best hole to date on the property. Uh, they, they're working with Dr. Quinton Henney and Dr. Thomas Manecki from the Colorado School of Mines They've also partnered with consulting firms that include SRK, Archer Cathrone Associates, and Oriented Targeting Solutions to analyze an extensive array of geological data sets spanning drilling, mapping, drone photogrammetry, 
and remote sensing data to interpret the presence of an intrusion-related gold deposit. All occurrences of visible gold to date have been consistently identified with quartz breccia and veins in contact with or in close proximity to pyrotite, sphalerite, and galena mineralization. So <clears throat> they have a very good understanding of this system. They have a tremendously high success rate in hitting mineralization with their drilling. I think they're over 90%. And in the 2023 drill program, over 40% of the holes that they drilled came back with visible gold, um, which you know is their best. Uh, findings to date, and it keeps on releasing, it keeps on returning excellent grades. Uh, they give you more details about the drilling uh, with the highlights, uh, the drill table, the collar uh, locations, more information about the uh, gold dig digger property, just to talk about that. Uh, it's in the world-class geological setting of the SK Rift, within the Golden Triangle of British Columbia and within three kilometers of the red line that is host to multiple world-class deposits. So they're in the right rocks, they're in a prolific uh, mining jurisdiction in British Columbia that has hosted some of the best, uh, highest grade um, uh, mines uh, at one time in the entire world. And uh, it definitely looks like uh, it, the the Goliath resource has a has a uh, another prolific uh, exciting uh, discovery. I I was telling a friend uh, that I think that this could be uh, one of the most important new discoveries uh, of gold anywhere uh, in the uh, exploration world, and um, the. Uh, the argument for that is the drilling that they've done into the shear bed, the Bonanza zone, now into the volcanics. Um, and um, it's it's the 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 whole story of the mineralization and the powerful system and high grade system is getting clearer and clearer as they do more drilling. And um uh, it is uh, it, another exciting part about this is that this is a brand new discovery. <clears throat> it's not one of these projects that is uh, sort of being recycled, being looked at, not to down downplay that because there are some great uh, discoveries to be made by using modern exploration uh, on um, known deposits. But this was an unknown deposit that this company is uh, sinking their teeth into. The reason that it was unknown is it was formerly uh, covered by glaciers and that glacier is receding and it's exposed this big mineralized system that is a virgin project that uh, Goliath and the team are sinking their teeth into. And uh, uh, it, it's very impressive, not just that they've made a new discovery, but the understanding that the team has of the mineralizing system is quite exceptional. And when I say that, why I say that is because you look at the success rate that they're having hitting mineralization in almost all their holes or 97% or something like that. And then this year, there was a big transition that they started to hit 40, over 40% 40 of the holes hit visible gold. So there, this is an excellent team of exploration geologists that are running the program, and they have an, a, a, an extremely good understanding of where to drill. And uh, it's 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 not just because that they're a, um, a such a strong team. Uh, this is a, a a very big and powerful system of high grade gold, and so that helps to have their success rate. But nonetheless, they are doing a heck of a job to um, to present this story and drill it off. And, um, and the more drilling they do, the bigger it. Uh, it gets. They've already got 
uh, quite a handle on the uh, Bonanza Shear Zone and the Sherbet Zone, uh, but now they've got this exciting story of the volcanics right below it. And um, uh, it looks like those volcanics are the, the plumbing system or the feeder that got all the gold up into the Sherbet and the uh, Bonanza Shear. And um, uh, because the Bonanza Shear and Sherbet are so big uh, with widespread gold mineralization, it's suggestive that the, the feeder uh, is very big itself. And uh, now we've got a couple of peers pointing to it, the volcanics that suggest that uh, uh, it is the high grade feeder of this entire system. Uh, you know, these kind of projects just do not come along very often. I'm firmly of the belief that the company has one of the uh, most important new discoveries in the Golden Triangle, uh, which is a prolific mining jurisdiction. And I believe that they could be on the verge of showing that this is uh, one of the most important new discoveries in the entire exploration world. Uh, and that includes well outside the Golden Triangle. Um, so uh, as always, it's important for you to do your homework. I'm not making buying or sell selling recommendations. Um, you, you need to talk to your financial advisor to, uh, to assess your, your risk profile and uh, be aware that they are a sponsor of my show. So I do provide promotional information, investor relations type content creation, uh, and uh, they do pay me a fee for that. And I'm super happy to have them as a sponsor. And um, yeah, do your homework, go to the company's website, check out their news releases. And uh, I think you'll, you'll understand why I think this is such an impressive project uh, that is uh, the reason I come. The reason I come to that conclusion is based on, you know, my 30 years of experience and exploration and the extensive drilling that they've done and what they found in that drilling. Um, I'm going to stop the share on that note. Have a great day, and we will talk to you soon.